it was recorded that um, the old days the Hawaiians made their tapa cloth first out of the bark of the wauke and that was the preferred bark that was a paper mulberry but the secondary source was from the po'ulu from the ulu the tools are just as important as the process itself and it's uh, amazing that the tools that the women had uh, on the mutiny on the bounty the ship the bounty uh, were very very similar to the Hawaiian beaters so we know that um, uh, they did bring the technique from Tahiti and we have that recorded not only in uh, Cook's journals where he had described that the people at that time when he came his translator was uh, Tahitian and could understand the language of the Hawaiian people but my wife uh, Lehua Makan Lesen is a descendant, direct descendant of one of the Tahitian royalty that came uh, 800 years ago. And it's recorded in the family genealogy of the story of, the, of Hiki Laulani. They call her the Tahitian princess. And it's said that she had come all the way from Tahiti to meet her husband-to-be, which was a young chief from the um, Ahupua'a area of Moanalua on Oahu. And this area uh, were all the chanters and the kahunas that served in the court of the king. And the legend says that uh, Kahiki Laulani, and her Tahitian name was Tevahine Uitetai Roroa, as she sailed up the river of Mauna Lua from the Keihi Lagoon where the airport is just out that way, she came up the stream in her canoe in her hand was a bundle made out of the tea leaves. In it was a ohia tree with a o'o bird perched on the branch. And she was holding it like this as she went up the stream and then she presents it to her husband-to-be, Kamavai Lualani. And so because of this legend that exists in the family, we know for a fact that the garment she would have been wearing would have been those that would be, have been in Tahiti at that time. And so Hawaiian tapa cloth had very, very strong similarities with the tapa in Tahiti because the people were coming back and forth for a, a period of time. Uh, it's once con contact with the Europeans uh, uh, began and metal tools were introduced and then the whole tapa process started to change because they could develop stamps that were made out of uh, bamboo strips and uh, their whole design, be, they started to see Western fabric and they started to make water fine watermark designs on the beater. So things changed from that and that became u uniquely Hawaiian. But prior to that, we have many samples that are very, very similar to that in Tahiti.